Rosetta Vera today I'm coming back to you with another Advent Club unboxing I am unboxing today Sticky Club's vintage Advent calendar um, so I purchased these I purchased all three calendars um, pop vintage and cute about two months ago but I've been holding them to open to right now um, I will insert the pr price I paid for all three calendars because I did buy them all together and I know that resulted in a discounted price so I'll insert that here um, I picked this up because I did buy last year's calendar and really enjoyed it so I decided to invest in it for another year you get 25 envelopes of stickers um, and um, they just kind of follow the theme so I'm going to open every single envelope, so unfortunately there will be spoilers, so if you haven't finished opening your advent calendar, um, you might not want to watch this to the end. I'm going to go straight through every single envelope. I will add some music behind me, and then I'll just recap at the end. So with that, let's jump into it, and let's see what we got here.
Okay, so that is all 25 days of the um, 2023 vintage advent calendar from Sticky Club. So, um, a Sticky Club qual quality as usual. Most of the stickers in this calendar did kind of follow the color scheme of the envelopes and also to a certain degree the like mushroom nature naturey theme that you're seeing on the envelopes so you get five different designs in the envelopes so you get five of each design um and i noticed that when i was opening the cute advent calendar so the good thing about the envelopes is that they are reusable you just need to put a label on them and you could use these and mail these out and that's one thing i do like is that it's not kind of waste you can reuse them and other ways you can use them also in your journaling or a card making because they do have two sides of artwork that are available to you to use so that's one thing i do like about those um you'll notice as i'm flipping through what i said about how the art on the stickers kind of matches the art in the envelopes really well like the color scheme the kind of nature vintage look i think there was only one thing that gave me pause at the most maybe two where i kind of was like i don't know where this um fits in um so this would probably be the first one which felt more water than like forest but it still has the same colors and it is vintage looking. Let's see. And then we kind of continue on similar things. This one also kind of felt like more prairie than woods. Um, but it could just be when I look at this, I think of Little House on the Prairie calico dresses. That's what it makes me think of. Um, and that that's just an image I have in my head because I read all those Little House on the Prairie books books when I was a little girl and I watched the TV show. So that's kind of what I'm associate, associating these patterns with. So that kind of felt out of context. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get to the other one that I kind of felt was a little out of context. Um, I think it was this one. I felt like the style was a little bit different than the other stickers, um, even though the color schemes are still very similar. The artist style kind of, to me, didn't fit what everything else is doing. I mean, love the stickers. Just felt like this was a little different. But you have a lot of the designers we're used to seeing in Sticky Club, a couple of new ones as well. Um, then, of course, some great stickers from Sticky Club themselves. Um, again, nothing different from the quality that I expect from Sticky Club. Um, this one felt very familiar, like Sticky Club has done something very, very similar to this, like with the very ornate scissors. I would have to look through my collection to be sure, but this feels very, very familiar. Um, but this felt very um, manga, um, very um, different as well. But like I said, overwhelmingly, I feel like everything matches the theme and kind of meets my expectations. I will say the one that this is the sheet that stood out for me. Like as soon as I saw it, um, this is by Hooky Duke. Um, I just, something about this just grabbed my eye. I think it's the use of the green and a gold. Um, but again, always great quality from Sticky Club. At first glance, I think I'm liking this year's edition of the advent calendar a little bit more than last year's. Um, and I did like last year's quite a bit. Um, so, almost to the end. And 
so that is all of the sticker sheets that you're getting in the vintage advent calendar um i don't have much feedback about these beyond like you know i really really love them i really liked how they stayed in this color scheme that i expected um and how it all felt very cohesive um i don't think there was anything where i was like oh i don't think i particularly like that i saw some things that i might have said i like that but i think my daughter like would like it more than me and i may pass it on but other than that this was a very enjoyable opening um and i look forward to using these in projects and i also look forward to reusing these envelopes um because I do think, um, you know, you can definitely find ways to use these, um, sending out a letter, um, and, um, using them in the art projects because, you know, there's just a nice, um, it's just a nice bonus to have in your kit. So that is everything for the 2023 um, Vintage Advent Calendar for Sticky Club. Um, as always, thank you for spending time with me. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.